Hello, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to make uh, trees using Photoshop and 3ds Max. The first thing you want to do is make a kind of background that splits your area up into three parts. This part will store the trunk texture. This will do one kind of branch, another kind of branch. So two kind of branches. Um, we can mix them all together. Okay, so did that in the background layer, just made these three sections and I can go ahead and choose one area to work on and create a new layer and just start with the uh, black so I can do a silhouette <laughs> always seems to be when you're screen recording things don't function quite as normal but I'll manage. Uh, I just want a standard hard brush and full opacity. I use a lot of shortcut keys like the square brackets to bring my brush up and down and 1 to 10, 1 to 0 is your opacity settings, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, F5 for your brushes, uh, B to for your brush mode and Alt to pick a colour. I use those quite a lot. So yeah, the response from this is really bad. Um, I'm not getting any intelligent response from this at all. I'm getting all these dots appearing. So for this tutorial, you know, uh, I'm just going to show you what I've actually made. But what I would, what I'm trying to do here is, in fact, what we'll do is I'll pause it and I'll come back. So I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I'll I'll do the whole video in stages like this. So I've created this kind of branch uh, in this part. Now I want to go my background and choose this part. Just control D that, and back to my layer again and start painting. Uh, so I'll be back when I've done a second branch. Okay, so I've just did another branch, so I've got two different kinds. I'm going to put this in one plane, pointing like that, and I'll put this in another plane, pointing the way it's pointing, and that way when you turn around you get these two different branches. Now this is a bare tree, but you, you kind of want to add leaves and stuff to it, so you can either create a brush, or you know, use this leaf scatter effect and then, you know, kind of put some leaves on it. Um, something like that. But then it's all over the bit. So, either want to draw them in by hand or create um, one image of it and then just like copy and paste it. So, I think I'll try that. Uh, let me just do this brush and I'll be right back. So what I've done there is I've just drawn a little leaf here and I'm just uh, kind of holding down Alt and moving it. Um, it should create a copy of it but again the screen shares, the screen record is not letting me do certain things. If you hold down Alt and drag, it makes a copy of it. So I'll do, I'll make a few copies and ma manipulate it a little bit. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've kind of drawn in these silhouettes here of uh, two branches. Uh, this black area really just means, um, you know, act as a tran transparent area. So what we need to do is just merge all the stuff I was working on together. Ah, oh, yeah, and absolutely nothing bloody works. <laughs> uh, there's merge visible. Okay. Try right click in this area to get the shortcut up, but never worked. So you see there a little bit of you know, see through there, so I'm just going to copy and paste the layer again. Dumb thing. Uh, control A, C, V. 
Oh my god, duplicate layer. Duplicate layer, okay. And there we go, I've got it a little bit denser now. So I'll just merge visi visible again. So this area here, I just want to be black. Okay, so if I take away this background, this is kind of my opacity map, but I'll have to add another layer just below it and fill it in white. about because uh, of the screen recorder. A lot of things not working. Okay, so fill that with white. Merge these two together. So adjustment and layer control shift E I think I remember it. Have that, and that's like where white is, the image will be seen, where black is, the image won't be seen, it'll be blocked out. So that's the opacity map. So I'll just label this layer as OPAC ITY map, and I can save that. And I'll save that and I'll make another tree, tree to it. City map. Save it as a PNG. Okay. Now from that I can, you know, uh, start to make my diffuse map. So start to draw straight on or on top of that. Again nothing's bloody working right. I need that brush that's white. Using the pen upside down as well doesn't help. <laughs> Everything goes crazy when you're doing a screen share, screen record. But you know the brush isn't even working right, it's just all these dots. So that's why I'm just stippling it here. Um in fact what we'll do just for quickness is I'll uh, create a brush preset. I'll add some scattering on and all this craziness. I'm not really too bothered about how this is looking. I'm just going to do some random colours and go. Don't worry, I'm not drawing on the opacity layer. I'm drawing on another layer. And what I'm going to do is just move that one down. Oh, I'll have to pause the video. Okay, right, doesn't let me do that. So I'm going to move that down and just change the opacity map to uh, multiply. And that way I can see through now. And that would be like your diffuse map. So I can continue working on this layer to get rid of all the white areas. Kind of want it to be different. can use different brushes for different shapes. You know, you can stroke the, this would be like the trunk of the tree. You kind of want to go up and down the way to follow the, the grain. And you can you can even just get some a bark texture and just throw it in there. There we 
response is really laggy. But I'll make do with that. For something. Right, this might look rushed and crap, but the the idea is here. You spend more time on this, then it will look better. So I'm just going to save this as my diffuse map. I can go back and fix this later. So later on you could, you know, create a bump map, you know, by drawing in some highlighted areas. So you can draw in your highlights like right about the middle here. Again it's not working right because of that, so I've got all these stupid dots. But you do something like that and grayscale it and you know all the brighter areas become your raised areas and the dark areas become your pitted pitted areas. So something like that. Blah, 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 blah. I'll I'll do this and save it just for quickness, I'll just add a bit of contrast to it. look okay so we'll see uh, I'll just do merge visible again in fact I'll add a, I'll add a contrast adjustment layer and uh, adjustment layer contrast okay I'll just bring the contrast right up Do me and I'll save that. Okay, I'll save that. Oh, this is three, two, bump. Okay, so you've got your our three maps. Now the first thing we want to do is just create a plane. So I'm just going to turn snaps on here and create it there. And we'll turn the segments down to one by one because we don't need any. Turn snaps back off. And then I'll throw some material on it. This is the other one that I'd made actually, so but I'll work on the one I just made. Yeah. So we've got a diffuse map. Yeah. With my bump map done. Ah. Helps if you save it as a PNG. Here's my app and I'll just put that one up so I can see that. Okay, so I need to edit the UVs for this. <coughs> so I'll go to unwrap. Choose that one. See that. And just manipulate it so it covers that top part of the tree there. Just down to the, not the total base of the stem, just a bit there. That's fine. So it was collapsed to for that one. Now I'm just going to click on it and hold down shift and rotate it. In fact, I could actually choose the polygon itself and then shift and rotate it 90 degrees and then clone to element. It's still part of the, the object, but I want to change the UVs of that, so I'll just do another unwrap, edit, select element, and I'll choose the face here and move it down. And just to make sure, I'll just turn that on so I can see what I'm doing. Let's full screen this. Okay, I 
kind of want to miss the base there. If I've missed a few of these leaves, I could have designed that a bit better. But seeing as I was rushing it, no problem. Okay. So that's good now. Okay, so I'll just collapse too for that one. Doesn't matter if it's on the endable mesh, I'm not too worried about that. I just want to move so it's going in the middle of that one. And move this one. So it's there. Okay, so now we need to put the opacity map on it. Opacity and I'll find my opacity map. Okay, and you can see here that um, it's see through. Uh, I can go to my materials and show in viewport as hardware display with maps. It will kind of work, but it doesn't work very good. So, it should work though. It should it's supposed to work? You can kind of see it a little bit there. Okay, uh, also want to add the bump map, so I'll find that one. And I'd like to ramp this up to like 150 or something. Maybe if I go to the preferences. Ports, configure driver, and I'll bring these up. Check these two on. Now reload each texture. Sometimes that improves what you see here but it's not made any difference. And you can see it kind of looks terrible but you get the idea. So ah, another thing you want to do is switch on two sided for this. So you go to the parent level and do two sided. Is create a cylinder. Okay, I figured out how to uh, make it so you can see it better. You choose uh, standard display with maps. So, show just 
done to display the maps there. Okay, uh, I'll render that. Sometimes if you render it and you still see this frame, uh, like the, the plain background, you have to make sure it's totally, totally black before you export it. Um, sometimes if you put like a specularity on it and you render it, you see the actual plane as well. So to avoid that, you have to kind of copy the opacity up to the specular level. So just do an instance of that. And that will kind of work alongside it. And that will cut out the the plane taking on any light. So just reduce that there. Um, so I like to copy the this, this uh, the color back down to specular color, so it's not so bright. So diffuse and specular color, they're both the same map. Specular level and opacity, they're both the same map. And bump maps got its own. Uh, you just want to line up this trunk here with this. It's going to go in and take away some bits that I don't need. Don't need that. I don't need the base there. I like to get rid of polys all the time, just to make sure it's super low poly. Sorry if I'm mumbling a little bit, I'm just quite kind of feeling a bit drowsy. Right, um, so once I've done that, I want to do the unwrap. Texture. Oh, I'm just to put the texture on it first. That'd be easier. Now I can choose it. I should be able to choose it. Material library. Material editor. This one. Okay, so I just want to manipulate this. I want to move it to kind of in the middle here or design the trunk. And yeah, it's kind of dirty yellow and stuff, but it's cool. Once you get into the hang of making trees like this, it, you know, you can perfect it. I'm going to select these two planes here, oh sorry, the, the object here. I'm just going to move the, the pivot down to the base of it. First I'm just going to widen this trunk a little bit just to cover for it. this to make it go down. It doesn't want to snap to it. <laughs> right, let me pause the video because it's... Okay, I had to change this here, use pivot point center. I had it set wrong, so let's watch for that. So it's like um, if you have this like here, it's going to use the center of the selected object. If you've got it there, it will use the pivot point center of every selected object. So if I select these two uh, and I move it to that, it will pivot them both on their own axis. Change it to uh, this, it will pivot on one axis, center to both of them. And this is kind of similar to that. So just want this top one on its own pivot center. And you want to start 
kind of just scaling it up and out and stuff. Uh, rotating it, holding down shift, bring it out to there, bring it round, and you can sort of twist it round a little bit and make it look a little bit different. Just make sure it kind of connects in here. into the trunk there. can make um, smaller ones like this and have them branching off the bigger ones as well. I should have did that before I started to clone them but and something like that. You can choose this base part and start to attach everything to the Not sure you've got your single object there, just affect the pivot, center to object and down to the bottom. have it two trees with yellow trunks <laughs> but they do look cool yeah. okay have fun making trees bye <laughs>